So uh, we we'll go ahead and, and kick off our post-qualifying uh, media availabilities. We're joined now by our second place qualifier, uh, driver of the number two Miller Lite Ford, Brad Keselowski. Brad, uh, this is your best start uh, at Talladega Super Speedway. You started, uh, previous best was fifth in October of 2014 and won that race. So uh, this bodes well for tomorrow, huh? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like, um, is this thing working? There it goes. Um, I feel like qualifying well is, is certainly a very strong omen for Talladega, Daytona. Uh, you know, I think all the races I've won here, we've, we've had good starts. Uh, and the races that we haven't won or, or been super competitive, we usually don't have any speed in qualifying. So certainly a confidence builder. Um, not a guarantee by any means, but a, a confidence builder that, that uh, you carry into this weekend and uh, into tomorrow's race. Okay, we'll go ahead and open it up for questions. We'll start right up front here with Tom Jensen. Hey, Brad, Tom Jensen, FoxSports.com. If you walked outside this morning, you saw a whole bunch of cars being rubbed on and tweaked on, <laughs> yeah. making modifications to get through tech. Three of the Toyotas didn't get through the um, claw the first time, and there was the issue with Truex. Does this happen every time it, we come to Talladega, and is it something that you guys just regard as a normal course of business? Yeah, I, I think that question is probably better for you know Scott and uh, Scott Miller from NASCAR and Travis Geisler, uh, Team Penske's technical director, because I I don't push the cars through tech, so I, I know just enough information to say something to get in trouble. Uh, but yeah, I think in reality that seems to be a little bit of the culture of our sport for sure. Additional questions for Brad? No? Congratulations All on right. a strong qualifying effort. Thanks, Thank Brad. You. Appreciate it. I need two dollars for a cup of coffee. Two dollars? Two dollars, man. Thank you. Hey, we're joined now by our Coors Light Pole Award winner for the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, Hellman's 500. Uh, this is, Martin, your 11th career pole. Your fourth pole this season, which uh, I understand is the most uh, in your career in a single season. Your first at Talladega Super Speedway, and and uh, really to make it extra special, coming uh, in Toyota's 1,000th NASCAR National Series start. So a lot of uh, a lot of goodness right there in that. Talk a little bit about your qualifying effort today. Yeah, definitely, it's uh, definitely cool. I mean, it's um, you come here and you don't really have a have a whole lot to say as a driver uh, when it comes to qualifying. So uh, obviously proud of the team, uh, everybody in Denver, everybody here at the racetrack for uh, for their efforts. Build a brand new car to come here, and it's uh, it's awesome to to be the fastest guy in town. So excited about that. Um, obviously TRD, everybody uh, building the engines, done a great job. To you know, it takes a lot to get a restrictor plate pole. So uh, excited for all those guys and definitely neat to lead Toyota to their uh, thousandth start tomorrow, and hopefully we'll uh, be able to get the victory when the day's over. Excellent. We'll take questions for Martin, our Coors Light Pole Award winner. If you'll raise your hand, we'll get a wireless microphone to you. We'll go right up front here to Bob. Did the craziness over NASCAR taking the jack bolt motivate you? And NASCAR also told us earlier that a points penalty is unlikely. Yeah. Uh, so does that give you any sort of um, Kind of calmness for tomorrow. I I've been calm all day, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the motivation thing. I mean, you know, no. I mean, it's uh, you know the guys prepared the car the best they could, and um, I'm you know I, like I said out there on the grid, I'm, I'm the lucky guy that got to drive it today. So this is all about them. This is all about their efforts. Um, you know, all I did was hold the thing on the floor and not screw up shifting. You know, so um, just excited for all those guys. We uh, we really haven't qualified well at the restrictor plate tracks the past few years, and um, you know, to come here with a brand new car and be able to do that says a lot. So just uh, just proud of everybody for their efforts, really. And um, you know, all the the crazy talk going on today, I think is is nonsense. Um, you know, I think people speculate on things and don't really know what they are. So uh, the jack bolt issue was is really not a big deal. It's not hollow like what was reported. Um, they didn't take both they took just the left front so i mean it's not a big issue it's um it was a parts manufacturing issue uh no big deal at all and um, i'm sure you know nascar will tell you all what it was all about in a few days any additional questions for our coors light polo award winner martin congratulations and good luck tomorrow thank you all very much uh yeah i mean i think um 
you know, having speed is important. You know, I think, you know, I talked yesterday about how good the two cars been at the plate tracks lately. And, you know, he's, he qualified second. So if we can have the kind of speed he has, um, I'm, I'm re really excited about that. I really haven't had a plate, a car to play track in a couple of years that was really strong that I could really make, make moves with and, and try to get out front and lead the race quite often. So we'll just see, I mean, it doesn't guarantee anything. Um, you know, sometimes you get back in the draft or in the pack and your car is not quite as fast for different reasons, but I, I'm excited and optimistic about it. Thanks.